Welcome back, everybody. This is Weight Loss in the Mind, Think Fit, Be Fit. And I have a very, very special guest today. I'm really, really excited to be sharing some different information than what we normally share. And it's Lena Kennedy from naturalcrampreliefcom Hey, Lena, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Scott. We're, I'm very excited to be on your show because I'm learning more about what you do while I'm on here as well. So this is great. <laughs> it always works out well. So Absolutely. before we get into cramps, uh, I want to know about what happened in West Africa. Aha. Well, um, this is a long story, but I'll try to make it more brief for you. Um, I, I went to visit this company in West Africa because a colleague of mine who works with the Canadian government travels to a lot of different countries and a lot of third world countries as well. Um, and uh, she told me that they had a really high quality of raw shea butter. And I use raw shea butter in a lot of the products that we produce for the skincare industry. And so I went to, um, I, I took, first I took some samples and they gave me this other green cream sample as well. And I thought, oh, what's this? And they said, oh, it's great for massaging, you know, really not into the massaging industry, but I thought, well, let's see how this feels because it smelled very mentally. So and, you know, so I spoke to the gentleman from uh, West Africa a few times and he says, oh, yes, this is a good cream for, uh, you know, like for sport injuries and uh, great for massaging and makes people relax. So you can go deeper. All these little fluffy things. OK, no problem. I'll use your samples. So what happened is um, my daughters played a lot of sport when we were when we were in school. And uh, whenever they came home with, you know, sore shins or, you know, banged up knees or something, they would do two things. They would apply this cream on, or they would do the Hungarian care mud that I have, which is another whole story for another period. And so I always, you know, we always had these things ready at home. We don't, we don't do the meds. We always do the home, you know, the home, home remedies. Care. Yeah, exactly. So what happened is that the, the, this product, I ended up calling it in which means like happy skin in, uh, I can't, I can't remember which part of Africa. And so we called it Injabolo and, you know, we started selling it to massage therapists and they liked how, how they could go deeper without the customer feeling so much pain. So my daughters would use it on their, on their sore joints or knees or, or shins and things. And it worked. So one day, and this is exactly what happened. She was 13 years old at the time. She had really bad cramps. My daughter suffered like I did when I had my period, like, you know, the, the bend over, I want to just crawl into fetal position cramps. Mm. And, and sometimes it could last for a couple of days as well. So it's really, it really can be troublesome. So she decided that she would use this stuff, this injablo on her cramps because it worked everywhere else for her. So this happened. So she came to me, we were living in Austin, Texas at the time. And she came to me in my home office and said, mom, I hope you're not going to be upset. Well, you know, <laughs> when your 13 year old teenager says, mom, I hope you're not, you're, the first thing you think of is, oh my God, what's coming, right? Yes. Okay, I braced myself. She goes, I had really bad cramps today. Yes. And I tried the Injabolo. Yes. She goes, mom, within just a few minutes, my pain is gone. I go, what? Wow. No, listen to that. I get on the phone. Dial my lawyers right away. I go, did, did you throw away PMS for PMS.com yet? Or just PMS for PMS? I had it, I was, I had it applied for a trademark because four months prior to this, had no idea what I was gonna do. I always get these weird ideas in my head. That's why I love your concept of how to lose weight. So I'm coming up a plane from somewhere, and this thing came in my head. PMS, number four, PMS, I'm like, oh, pain management system for PMS. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'm gonna trademark that name because I like it. That's a good one. Then I was going to throw it out because they sent me, this was just around Christmas, right? They sent me a list every year. Okay, what do you want to keep? What do you want to throw away? And I said, you know, throw that one away. I got no time for that. I don't, even, I don't even know why I thought about that. And then she's telling me this. I'm like, oh my God, the two married together. So I call my lawyer. He goes, so he's checking. He goes, no, it's still okay. Okay, grab it. So now what I did is I contacted this gentleman in West Africa. And I said to him, you know, I'd like to buy this formula from you for something unique I'd like to do, but I can't really tell you what it's all about. And he says, well, I'll tell you what. He says, you know, like, because they're not producing it in big quantities or anything. 
Um, but they do use it in their hospitals there. He says, why don't you come and visit us here? Meet my family. It's very, very much relationship. Sure. Um, to, yeah, yeah, you really, they, they have to really like you as a person. So he says, come on down and, and investigate this a little more. So I did. I, I went to West Africa and uh, I visited three of the four hospitals. I spoke with some doctors, some therapists. I even spoke with a mother and her child, with a man, all about, so you use this, tell me how that. And so I'm realizing like they really use it for all these, these muscular joint related issues, right? And then I found out that um, in the beginning of time, they actually used it to help people um, deal with the pain of leprosy. Oh. Let me tell you, I think leprosy, I think today in our terms, more like shingles, pain, mm. the deep skin pain, the nerve endings, right? Yes. So the long and the short of it is, while I was there, and it was like 500 degrees, and I threw away my business suits and got myself some of their grandmother's moo-moos <laughs> yeah. and i did this i i was very happy to put these moo-moos on and uh, and it was a lovely i spent 10 days there and it was really and you know I, I sat on the floor and ate with the family and all the children were around because you know blonde hair they don't see it too often no that's right <laughs> and it was really we had such a lovely time and then at the end the man came to me and he said we all adore you i will sell you this formulation so what we did is we made an arrangement. I didn't tell them yet, right? We made an arrangement. So now they're part of my system because we still work together in some forms and, and he'll always have a royalty fee. I will grow this so big that it will take care of his whole village. And that's what we're working towards. And we're really nice. happy about that. So here's what happened. Him and his two sons were saying, okay, Lena, we want to know what you're going to do with this because you seem very, you know, very creative. And I said, well, so I told him the story. I just told you about my daughter. Literally, they looked at each other and went, why didn't we think about it? I said, don't feel bad. I'm not the one who thought about my 13-year-old daughter thought about it. Right. Right. So that's how we came to have Comforté. So I put out PMS for PMS. Like I put 10,000 tubes out and the FDA stepped all over me. Now, this is mm. going to kill you. This is going to kill your viewers. I was so angry. I really wanted to fight. I got to plug you in to my phone. And what happened is they came to my factory and demanded that I destroy every tube I had because I called it PMS for PMS. Yeah. And they said I was I was stating that I'm taking care of a disease. And I'm like, excuse me, but this is like, you know, there's no better way to play on words than in America. PMS, uh, PMS seeing, you know, you're seeing yeah. every woman is disease. I was so angry. So, so they called the PMS a disease. Yes. They did, and they and they claimed I was claiming I could take care of a disease. I'm like, you so all of us who have cramps every month were diseased. So you call the natural process of birth a disease, the natural process of being a woman a disease. It was really we we had we had not very favorable words exchanged with diplomacy because you know they could still chop me into little bits and pieces. So right. I did. I destroyed all ten thousand tubes. Oh. And then, and then a really nice woman at the FDA. I was speaking with her because I was really distraught, right? I was really, really distraught over this. And she says, Lena, here's the thing. I'm, I would encourage you to consider something like, so she was telling me without telling me, and this is our tag, temporary, get this, okay? Instead of saying stop cramps, temporary relief of monthly feminine discomfort. <laughs> really? What? What is up? with that right yeah yeah <laughs> so anyway we we you know we we found a way around it we call so now we call it comfort a with the accent aigu and uh kind of like comfort but comfort a it will be a little character that comes along to comfort you mm. along, just did that what a beautiful story <laughs> thank you i have so many stories scott i'm sorry you'll probably run out of time <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Cool. Well, tell us some stories about some of the people that use Comforté. Oh, those are, besides my daughters, um, well, only one. The other one is like one of those very lucky girls who doesn't have very much pain through her period. So she's very, very blessed. But one time I was at an event in L.A. when I was actually working. I had a cute little studio there. And I went to, you know, one of those like B-lister event kind of thing. And I went there with Comforté. And... Um, there was a woman who had gotten a tube 
several months before from somewhere we had given it in the swag bags, you know? Mm -hmm. And she came, she came to this event. She was like a PR person. And when she saw that we were there, she looked at me, she goes, oh my God. So this is her story. She barely made it to this event, but she really needed to be there because there was some Oprah people there. And um, she remembered about this little tube that she was hunting in her house for. This is her story. And she's still a good friend of ours. And so she used our product and she had cramps. That, that was her problem. Really bad cramps. She didn't feel like she could get out of bed and she came. And then here we are about two boots up on the opposite side of her. Hmm. She said, you know, you got to, you know, mind. I'm telling you, <laughs> put it out there and it can be yours. So, so she was so excited. And then she proceeded to tell us what had happened to her niece. And I, I was telling you, some people actually miss work or miss school. Her niece is a classic case. Two days every month, like clockwork, she can't go to school. The cramps are so bad. Wow. And her mother doesn't want to just pile a bunch of Tylenols in her body. Right. So, but she was giving her some things even at home. But she was staying home for two days every month until comfort hay. Wow. She misses no days. So Women's World Magazine heard about it, and they put a full two-page spread on, on these two women. One was, like, very young, and the other one was, you know, in her mid-30s. Wow. So that's, that's just part of it. But everybody, I was at a show um, in Russia, and it was somebody across from us who also would ha had cramps. Now we finally got some little sachet. So I gave her a sachet. I go, go to the bathroom, put this on. 15 minutes later, she's all happy. Wow. Yeah. And then one time I was at this natural, this is a, this is at about the time where FDA had me throw away the 10,000 tubes, right? This is where it became known. Cause I did a, a natural, like a natural product trade show here in, in the U S okay. and, um, so there was a guy across the hall from me listening to everything, you know, like just across the aisle, I should say, with his food. And he walked, trots over, you know, trots over with all this confidence. And he says, uh, so you think this stuff will change my wife's attitude? <laughs> I'm like, I thought about that for a minute. And I said, well, let me see if you'll allow me to, to do a test. He goes, sure. What do you want to do? If I can punch you in the stomach, kick you in the balls and just jab you all over and then give you some of this. Let me know if it reduces the pain, if it changes some of your attitude. <laughs> so he kind of just smiled and walked away from me. Because, <laughs> you know, crafts sometimes feel like that. Like, like everything was punched to death. You know, unless you know what severe cramps are, you cannot imagine what I'm talking about. No. It feels like there's razors cutting you inside and and things just blowing up and swelling it's so this is an alternative this is an alternative that i would say the majority of people who use it are very 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 happy if somebody has like so bad so bad cramps i always tell them to learn what their cycle is because this will work if they know what their cycle is start rubbing it on two three times a day a couple of days before your cycle starts. Oh, yes. Prevent it from swelling too much and, and the pain from registering too quickly. And then you can moderate it. You know, for me, it's not, there's no miracle cure for anything. It's about helping yourself as best as you can. Right, and supporting you yourself. Meds, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic for you. Well, that's really exciting. Yeah, yeah, I really, actually, I just got a call. I just set up a meeting uh, this morning. It's on the 23rd of this month, Monday. OBGYN Western New York has invited me for all their head honchos. 55 to 60 people luncheon. I'm the guest speaker on Comfort Day. Wow. So the word is spreading around. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. So many women are going to feel much. You know what my slogan is? Love being a woman every day of the month. Do you know why? Because I remember when I had my period... Every month, I just got to give anything to be a guy. I get why I just one week every month, right? Yes, now my slogan is love being a woman every day of the month. That's beautiful. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm curious does it work on other pains? Okay, well, there now you're now the cat's going to be let out of the bag. It really is amazing. Uh, 
I, I like to, I, I put it under comfort tape because I want to represent a homogeneous target market product so that people don't say, oh yeah, you know, smoke, like, you know, in the wagon days, the cowboys days, you know, in the wagon, and here we got a miracle. Yes. I don't want to tell people that, but this is one of those products. But if you want to use it for your cramps, it'll be great. But for headaches, neck aches, joint aches, everything ache but let me tell you the biggest miracle of this besides the cramps because this is you suffer cramps every month you need something here you go here's a massive mother load kicker and and i just did a home party in canada a few weeks ago to my brother's closest friend because he suffers from nerve damage in his oh. face from oh. a very bad motorcycle accident 10 years ago now i'm going to tell you and i know for a fact and i've done a lot of research on this there is nothing in the medical world that will help your nerve pain, the, the damage of the nerves, the pain that's associated with it, nothing. They could do injections, they could do anything, but it never really works, right? But the doctors will give you whatever they can. It'll do all the damage to your body, but it will not take away your pain. And that's exactly what this guy had a problem with. So he started using it about eight years, seven years ago. And he won't live without it, right? So it takes care of anything to do with nerve pain, the same as shingles. So now mm. there's a woman in Australia. Fudge, I have so many stories. Okay, here's how it goes. So one of our Alexandria professional practitioners for what we do in the beauty industry was telling her client, her she was treating her client and her client was sharing with her how her 81-year-old mother is suffering from shingles, from pain. And wow. she says, oh, my God, I'm going to give you this. You take it home because the owner of this company swears it. So she did. And this woman gave us a testimony. It's the first time her mother got relief. Wow. No contraindication, all natural, safe, and effective. So I have a lot. I wish I had like three lifetimes to go. But first I'm approaching the OBGYNs. And then I, I made a link, uh, a contact. It, it will go somewhere with, um, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, something to do with nerve damage, like there's an association. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm going to target these things. But it's for everything. All I can tell you is when I did this home show, I say home show, I just I was invited into this gentleman's home, him and his wife, and they invited some friends that suffered. <laughs> and they're all using the Injabolo now. They're using the Injabolo, which is very similar formulation to the Comfort Tay, but Comfort Tay, Comfort Tay has a little bit more of one of the plant medicines because I wanted it to kick in more for the cramps and a little less menthol and a flower, a little bit of a flower essence so that it doesn't smell so mentally because, you know, we got to wear it every day when we go to work. <laughs> right. And it also has sh shea butter in it. Uh, I live by raw shea butter in a lot of my formulations because it's very nourishing to the skin and it helps to carry the things inside, the oils inside. Yeah. Right. Wow. That's yeah, I got cool. a lot of stories, Scott. I am a walking dictionary of awesome, blessed stories worldwide for everything we offer in my companies. Everything. It's a, it's a great life when you can do something <laughs> that you know helps others, right? Like That's, you do. Thank you. Like you, you do. I love your concept because it works. I love it. So Comforté is not just for women and it's not just for women who have cramps problems. No, but you know, most men are not going to pick up a cute little thing that says love being a woman every day of the month. And it's a cute little tube. They're going to buy the big and job and use it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about your company. Because I had originally thought we were just going to be talking about Comfort Tay, but I'm curious about uh, your company well, or your companies. You're, you're talking to the, not just self-proclaimed, I've been labeled, the, the sugar queen of the world because I pioneered professional sugaring hair removal globally. So much so that Milady, which is the, one of the top aesthetic educational books in the world, wants to publish my theory. And the theory is called the Kennedy Theory. Can you imagine that? And I lived in Austin, Texas. Who <laughs> tried to live with that? <laughs> I got oh, I got a funny story. Anyway, that's what we do. That's what we pioneered 25 years ago. And we naturally defaulted from great skin conditioning products 
like getting rid of ingrowns and things, we naturally defaulted into taking care of eczema, psoriasis, keratosis. All the dermatologists I've ever met and all the people I've ever served in my 25 years who have keratosis say their dermatologists tell them you'll never get rid of it and I get rid of it. Wow. All 100% natural. I understand sugaring like it's a, uh, you know, people laugh, you know, like I am one with the sugar. I am. Because I, I can, I, I see, feel, sense, everything. I, you know, like some, some protégés are born and they just like do music so well. And you wonder, wow, I am that person for sugaring. And, and it came to me because of an accident and a prayer. And I'm writing the book this year. It should, should be finished, hopefully edited by the end of the year. It's called Sweet Revolution. I will tell the whole, all the lovely stories in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait for that to come out. That's great. It's all good stuff. So if somebody wanted Comforté, how do they get it? Is it in the stores or? No, not yet. Um, it's been, you know, we're, we're really putting a lot of, okay. Truth be told, I'm back. I'm back to North America. I've been really working offshore for the last 10 years, developing a lot of other countries. Like we're so big in Russia and across Europe and, South Africa and Australia and now getting into we're in Korea and looking at more more places there but I was very busy developing our Alexandra professional mother company and I'm back mm. I'm back to bring a lot of that success and, and develop here and comfort a, believe it or not is my top priority because I, I just got to get it out there and, and, and just let it ride on its own so that I can continue other things because I know I know when a woman uses it, she will never stop to use it when she needs it. And it's not limited to the cramps. So she'll always carry it knowing she's got something as an alternative to whatever happens in her day. That's what I'm looking forward to. Wow. So we don't, right now, they can get it online. They can go to um, uh, pms4comforte.com. Okay. They can also buy it at our Alexandria Professional site. And they can go to the all natural. Uh, pain relief, uh, the one that you just quoted right. there. Naturalcramprelief.com. Correct. Correct. And, uh, and then hopefully, you know, soon enough, they'll be able to pick it up in, in department stores and in, in pharmacies and things like that. That's our goal. That that's what we're actually working on. We just entered something like 25 pharmacies in the UK. With wow. It. Good. So yeah. So, you know, I'll just wing it over there and then bring that success back here again. <laughs> Perfect. Well, on weight loss in the mind, we always like to talk a little bit about the mind. So as we're getting towards the end, I want to, to ask you or have you share um, a little bit about how you work with your mind to get the success that you've got. Well, you know, I, I always make jokes because I knew about the secret long before they were published because I am the epitome of living that way since I was a child. But I think I was gifted with a little thing that happened. You'll read about it in the book. Um, and, and so it's very easy for me to have this mindset. You know, like I, I, I believe in it so much, you know, think it and it will come and picture it and you can do it. And, you know, your mind can be your best asset or your worst demise that will stop you from reaching any goal you reach for, mm. for sure. Because every everything in life starts with the mind everything from you know i'll say from sexual pleasure to to uh manifesting a, a shame uh to feeling self-conscious to someone else to feeling superior which is also not correct you know to think right. you're superior. everything starts with your mind and i've become an expert at stopping it's a practice it's not that i'm i shouldn't say the word expert but i am better at practicing daily when I need to stop the noise mm. you know? and, and I've shared with some friends like you know some friends who've had their turmoil just picture a whole bunch remember you remember you'll remember you're about my age uh, <laughs> you remember um, uh, door number one door number two door oh number yes two, so called. is that Jeopardy no no, no. not oh, Jeopardy door number, oh my god and, oh. they, and they would dress in funny costumes in the audience yeah, yeah. So obviously we are about the same age because we both know what we're talking about. We can't okay. remember the name. So that's what I tell people. Picture these doors in your mind and, and you got this troublesome thought. Open a door, put it in there, close the door and know at any moment throughout your day, if you want to feel shame, 
bitterness, anger, anguish, disappointment. Just open that door, you'll have it all. But in the moment, you can choose to keep it closed. And you know when you do it for that moment, the moment passes. Yes. And you get a breath again. It's the same thing for That's what you great. do for weight loss. It's the <laughs> same thing. And it works. That's why I'm so happy to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you're wonderful for what you put out there. That's really great, Scott. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I appreciate that. All right, well, we've come to the end of this episode. Thank you very much, very much everybody, for joining us. Thank you, Lena, for being a wonderful guest. You've been watching. That's a pleasure. You've been listening to Weight Loss in the Mind, Think Fit, Be Fit, and uh, check out the Comfort Hay. Uh, I have to admit that I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you might so give much. it to my girlfriend and she can carry it around in her purse for me. What? <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. See you next time, everybody. Thank you.